There are just a few states, key states really, that could decide next week's US election. Donald Trump and Kamala Harris both campaigning in a number of those swing states to win over any undecided voters left. Uh, Brett Bayer explains how either candidate could secure their road to the White House. You see these yellow states are all the toss-ups in our path to 270, the electoral votes needed to win the White House. For the sake of argument, based on recent polls, let's say that the Republicans do win North Carolina. Recent polls showing Nevada going former President Trump's way. It's very tight, back and forth in Michigan, but let's say the Democrats win Michigan. And that sets up these four remaining states. Starting in Georgia, it has the highest proportion of black voters of any battleground state. Black voters overwhelmingly voted for President Biden, leading to his victory in Georgia in 2020. He received 91 percent of the black voters nationwide, but recent polling shows Vice President Harris, as you see, a smaller edge than President Biden received. In this case, uh, just judging by the recent polls, we'll give uh, Georgia to former President Donald Trump. Now, early voting data can provide some insight into what we may see on election night. In Pennsylvania, Democrats are seeing a greater advance vote turnout than Republicans so far. Although former President Trump has a small, small lead in the recent polls, in this scenario, if it's moving that way, we will give Pennsylvania in this what-if scenario to the Democrats. So former President Trump won Wisconsin in 2016, but he lost it in 2020. Recently, Republicans have been investing in advertising there, spending a lot of money. They've spent $4 million more on ads there than Democrats just in recent days, although Democrats have spent more overall inside Wisconsin. The former president leads by a slim margin in recent polls. So let's say that this holds and that trend moves forward for undecided voters and will give Wisconsin to former President Trump in this scenario. Now, both Wisconsin and Pennsylvania have tightening Senate races. As former President Trump has closed the margin with Vice President Harris, making the Republicans pretty optimistic that Trump can pull the Republican candidates over the finish line with him, as you see in these races. Which brings us to our, one of our 50 races in 50 days, where that, that is not happening so far. Former Republican gubernatorial candidate, Trump-backed Kerry Lake, is locked in a battle for the Arizona Senate seat against Democratic Congressman Ruben Gallego. Like the top of the ticket, Gallego has been campaigning on abortion access, the importance of preventing former President Trump from winning again. Gallego, Gallego currently leads in the Real Clear Politics average of polls by six points, while Trump leads Harris by less than two points. Now, if Trump maintains that lead in this scenario, you give Arizona to former President Trump, and that makes him the winner. He clinches the win with 270 electoral votes. But if the Senate race polling is any indication of broader feelings inside Arizona and it goes the other way, that changes everything. Kamala Harris becomes the 47th president of the United States with one more electoral vote than the 270 needed. It's just one of the many possibilities in the road to the White House in this what-if scenario that leads through Arizona.